Hey, cause our babies, it's your girl, Britt Brad, going live with the Brie Talk. Yes, I'm about to go to the gym. I got my sweet sweat on. Today is the death anniversary of Michael Jackson. I'm gonna be playing all my MJ hits, but what are some of yours? Mine is Bad by Michael Jackson. I know all the words. I know the, I know the dance moves and all. My top videos of his are Smooth Criminal. My dad used to hold my shirt so I could lean for it. I really thought I was doing something back then. Uh, thriller. My mom bought me the Thriller jacket. She probably made it because, you know, my mom is creative like that. And I had to have it. I don't know why she fed into my bullshit, but she used to. She's still doing it. And that's why I love her. That's why she's my queen bee. And remember the time. I don't know. I just love it because I love Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. So those are just mine. What are yours? What's your favorite songs, video, etc.? The leader of the Jackson 5, RIP. I can't believe he's still gone. It's crazy. And can I be honest with y'all? I literally was looking at tickets to go see him perform in London. And he literally died, I want to say, three weeks later. Tragic. Tragic. We'll never get anybody like that creatively or spiritually. But anyways, moving right along because we have to talk about some bullshit that people who are not icons but you know they might be icons the kardashians i know how y'all love them and y'all cake for them so look let's just get into this like comment and subscribe tap the notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts and remember opinions are not facts that being said i'm gonna just put it out there i don't like them hoes i don't trust them hoes i don't trust anybody who's a culture vulture this is my shammy this guy who um I work out with sometimes he was like yeah they're better for the sweat so because i'm going to the gym i have on my sweet sweat bitch i'm sweating i'm sweating doing nothing i'm probably gonna put this on at work hmm. i don't know but let's get into it so they had their season finale part one premiere on sunday and of course y'all know victimness and victimhood and white women fragility is the number one bestseller and guess what they was giving it all and there were some inconsistencies with this and y'all know i had to write that shit down because i was like wait a minute rewind i didn't use my own money i used my homegirl's stuff to watch so some things i want to point out kim's true colors chloe's assassination of character of jordan and tristan and how these middle-aged women are trying to tear down this young girl but not this man so Kim true colors was exposed when she was talking to Kylie on the phone and she was like Kylie after all you've done for Jordan so she can feed her family really screamed superiority superiority y'all know what I'm saying Vibes. you know she felt like she was superior like oh look at us and the crazy thing is they all live in the same neighborhood Jordan doesn't come from Compton Jordan lives in Calabasas Jordan's been living in Calabasas her dad got rest his soul is best friends with the Smiths Will and Jada so I'm like what And the only reason Jordan became really good friends with Kylie is because of Jaden when they moved to their side of Calabasas after that sex tape. Everybody likes to pretend didn't happen. All right. Also, she said some things I really didn't like. And I said, see, this is why I don't like these white bitches. To all my white friends, I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about these hoes. I said, this is why I don't like these white bitches. She was like, if it was me, I would be groveling and begging and pleading for you to accept my sorry and all that. I said, wait a, wait a minute here. So she was good and, you know, she wasn't all this other bullshit when she was Kylie's sidekick, but because she kissed Tristan, because I feel like Tristan was using Jordan as a way to get out she's all kinds of should be groveling for mercy and shit like that i said oh i don't like that see that's you gotta watch out for friends like that who will throw up in your face what they did for you and let's not forget jordan has said it on kylie's show she felt like she was 
trapped because Kylie needed her 24 seven. That is the only reason why she moved into that house with Kylie. But people forget that. Then you have her disgusting. They're discussing a young girl. Now, Jordan had just turned 21. You have Lar Larsa Pimpin, who is future side bitch. Okay, she ain't nothing but a thought hoe anyways. Cheating on Scotty Pippen like that, a fucking legend. Chasing behind a rapper. Really, girl? You have Larsa Pippen, Malika, all them that was attacking her, assassinating her character, or trying to. And then you have Courtney and them, like, did she apologize? What's going on? And then you have Kylie with her build a face that's really sitting up there looking like Big Ange. I'm really afraid of you, Jordan, because if you can just do this, what about true? Da, da, da. Not once did them hoes say Tristan is the fault, except for that one girl who was on the phone when she was recording. She was like, Tristan is the blame. I mean, Tristan cheated on you several times, multiple times. And not once did you say, damn, this man is really putting my life in danger. You know, he's fucking all these bitches. I mean, he was caught at a hotel with one, a club with three of them. And hell, who knows who he fucked at that party because Jordan got up and left. So I was just like, bye. Then you have Chloe who's badgering this 21-year-old. And finally, she was just like, I can't. And turned to the Smiths, which is how we got Red Table Talk, and really vindicated herself. I said, how do y'all have recordings of Taylor Swift and shit, but you don't have the recordings with what Jordan said on the phone or what Tristan's texting you. Y'all show everything else, but not that. Child by. So then you have Chloe assassinating their character. She literally sat on TV and said, you know, Tristan said, I can't live without you and I'm just concerned. Girl, you really thought he meant he was suicidal? How dare you? And I read something where it was like Tristan was pissed because she put this out there to set this image of he has mental health issues and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, look at Lamar. So, of course, the NBA commissioner is reaching out and coaches and players. And I'm like, I really think he's going to kill himself. That man went out to eat with a whole nother bitch, put it on his Snapchat, not his Snapchat, his Instagram live. I remember because I copied and pasted. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, child, I'm a riot. So I put it on my Instagram live and I said, oh, Tristan's living his best life. This is the best news he could hear. Jordan destroyed my family. And I was like, Jordan? Tristan didn't do nothing? Tristan is out here fucking bitches living his best life. It was like, adios. I mean... We saw that at True's first birthday party. He literally showed up with his friends, refused to speak to you, and literally <laughs> took pictures with his daughter with you out the picture. And you were like, I'm doing my best because um, True doesn't need to see this disharmony. I'm like, girl, he don't want you. He don't want you. Tristan is 28. You're like in your late 30s, girl. He don't want you. He's, he's being a 28-year-old man with money. Okay? Tripping. I said, wow. And my thing is, nobody took the ownership. Nobody took like, hey, Chloe, let's get you some help. She's always writing dissertations and my truths. And honestly, I said, y'all expected loyalty when you hoes ain't even loyal. I mean, we can run down the list. Let's start with Trina. If you don't remember, Chloe got, a DUI, got in some DUI trouble or whatever. And she used to have with Trina big time. They used to smoke weed and party and whatnot. Trina introduced her to the ball players. That's how she met Lamar. Trina starts fucking around with James Harden. Guess who has to have James Harden? Chloe. Trina's fucking with French Montana. Guess who has to have French Montana? Chloe. I was like, damn, girl. Trey Songs. Trey Songs and Lauren London were an item. They get into an argument. All of a sudden, you booed up in your old face. With Trey Songs, I'm like, damn girl, you getting around. That's why they call her Pass Around Club. Yet and still, you think people are entitled to loyalty? And oh, Kim, the, the nerve. Did you apologize to that first husband when you was out here throwing that pussy to any and everybody? Did you apologize to Dallas? 
Is that that boy's name who played football when he told you he didn't like the spotlight, but yet you still put him on that TV show? Did you apologize to your ex-husband, Chris Humphreys, for how you treated his sister, his family, and him publicly? And oh, by the way, you let Kanye make a song about him? Did you apologize to them? Did you apologize to Amber Rose for continuously fucking on Kanye when he was in a relationship? No, I don't think so. I mean, hell, none of them do it. They all fucking around. And the only reason they can't throw away what Scott is because Scott has his own money. He has his own, he don't give a fuck. Kanye, because he has his own money, he don't give a fuck. Hell, Kanye make him susceptible to black culture, as quiet as it's kept. That's why he was like, Beyonce doesn't want to, her, her, her kids didn't hang out with my kids. And, and Beyonce knew better. We should have known right there, the red flag. Beyonce's not hanging out? Mm. Mm. I'm just saying, the list goes on. They're always fucking somebody else's man. I mean, you have Kendall pretending to be a non-lesbian woman fucking on Ben Simmons. Girl, bye. <laughs> bye. That's all I'm saying. Them hoes is wild. What are your thoughts? I honestly feel like if this was a show of black women, y'all would have it taken off the air. I mean, hell, y'all trying to get basketball wives off. And, you know, the old lady gang. But it is what it is. I mean, three of them are baby mamas. One has mental health issues. Rob. The moms out here thotting and bopping. I mean, y'all would have that shit canceled if it was some black girls. But it is what it is. And I was really shocked by Kylie because I was like, girl, your whole image, you, you got your body to look just like Jordan's, to be honest. She was your muse, you know? And it's like every time they fall out with a black girl, they lose their power. And it's like black women have to be around them. That's the only way they can be hip and trendy and know what's up and know how to flick their hair. That's why they keep the sidekicks around. The little twin black girls. Because one is married and the other one isn't, but you know, she's just giving her pussy away to any and everybody and nobody wants her. Shit pass around too. Honestly, when them hoes can't use you no more, they discard you. For real. Anyways, what are your thoughts? Do you think Tristan was suicidal behind this? That shit is funny. Like, they really don't know their kids are gonna grow up and watch this bullshit. Mm. Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta hit the gym because you know on Friday. I'm gonna be on the beach doing my what is that 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 mm, mm, mm. y'all I can't wait. I might record, I might not in paradise. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe and I gotta go. Bye host.